Welcome back. Today we're looking at magic tricks going not the way they're supposed to. I understand everyone has to start somewhere, but I don't think running into the fridge is meant to be the climax of this trick. Let's look at a similar one. The kids cheese it, dad forgets to tell him to leave the door open, which is an integral mechanical feature of the trick. Up goes the magic blankie. Oh yeah, right on the brain. He falls dramatically, his clothes are wet, his head hurts. You all know about the door, shouts a soggy, sad fucking dad. This is the classic how to remake your chainsaw in half friend trick. Cue the smoke, too much smoke. Screw this, the top half guy grows legs and cheeses it. The magician mumbles a gentle whiff of smoke. Not fucking fireworks, I wanted a gentle whiff. Why are all me mates bloody amateurs? Be very careful copying the magic tricks by that legend Zack King. You can't jump through windows, they bloody smash if you don't know how to use Adobe After Effects. It's nothing to celebrate. You can't create vortexes out of thin air. You can't eat a company's donut sign. That's not a cake! Don't cut fucking glass! I know you want to save people with magic, but it's not real. If they're gonna get hit by a truck, that's on them! Shit, sorry for lecturing you about the obvious. I mean, stick to classic tricks like sword swallowing. This bloke is deep throating the piss out of that blade. Not having a gag reflex is the real abracadabra shit. Yeah, he's nailed it! Get ready for Act 3, the prestige. Oh no, it's a fake sword! It's a retractable toy! His deep throat skills are a scam. The crowd claps, but I don't know. I feel let down by this one the most. Oi, being a Sheila in the magic industry is fucked. No, don't immediately say, what about men? Bam, stabbed and dropped. Don't sign up to be a magician's assistant, ladies. You get put in containers and bloody cylindrical gift boxes and this fucking custom-made coffin thing. You get fondled after being chopped in half. Chains. If you're into it, that's fine. But yeah, no, yeah, just letting you know about chains. More containers. They get set on fire. Here's a spike. Yep, feel that. It's real, super sharp. I'll bung it in a bag. Yeah, give me your hand. I'm gonna slam it on the bag. It was at this moment everyone wished that they could go back in time and prevent a spike going through her hand. Fuck this, ladies. Fuck this. Even for Scarlett Johansson, the enjoyment was an illusion. She was chewed up and spat out by these egotistical, deceptive fucking cowboys. Shit, I'm really on a tangent again. Sorry, everyone. Let's get back to happy magic. Ta-da! Happy magic. Here's a dog that wants a biscuit. The owner's like, oh dear, it vanished. The dog replies, I don't care about games, you wankers. I saw the treat. It exists. Come on, give it to me, please. I'm so hungry. I'll shake your hand. Yeah, just get a fresh one from the bag. Thank you. Happy magic is my jam. This one is at my skill level. I like magic tricks that are quick and easy to learn. Bloody mum is mesmerised. She's thinking, wowee, my daughter is the next David Copperfield. Hopefully she doesn't become an assistant. Yeah, nah, she's gonna be running her own shows on Las Vegas Boulevard. Overall, escaping reality is fun, but don't escape it too much, because that just all gets pretty unhealthy. 